What's happening guys and welcome back to Celebrity Overdose. Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes have recently split up and both of them have had a lot to say about the other after their relationship. In this video, we're taking a look at Camila Cabello speaking on shading Shawn Mendes in a new song. But before we do that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our future videos. Number 9. Camilla's Intentions with the Song Being in a high-profile relationship with a famous celebrity is a very weird thing as showcased by what happened after Camilla and Sean split off from one another. Soon after the two had broken up, they both went on to release breakup songs about the other. An inside source of Camilla said that her main intention with this song was that it would be a sort of a goodbye ballad to Sean. The source also said that there was no chance of reconciliation between the two of them, which is why she poured her heart out in that song. So when fans interpreted her song as being shady towards Sean, that wasn't the intention that Camilla had when making it. Number 8. Initial Spark for Relationship Many people seem to have forgotten just how long the two of them had a relationship with one another, and it all began with the Senorita music video. When this video was released, many fans couldn't help but notice how the two of them were being very cozy with one another. The main reaction that was prevalent online was that the two of them had great chemistry with one another. Well, even though that might have been true at that time, the two were just very good friends back then. It took them a long time to begin dating one another, and that happened in July of 2019. Believe it or not, the two had been close to one another for the past five years, but hadn't taken this step. I didn't want to say his name because we were dating, and I <laughs> couldn't call him baby, so I'd just be like, hey! Uh, yeah! Number 7. Announcing their breakup Alas, after the two of them had had a good relationship with one another, they decided to break things off in November of 2021. In total, the two of them dated one another for a good two years before calling it quits. As this is the case with many famous celebrities, the two of them took to Instagram to announce their breakup. Each of them posted a prepared message on the platform, which said that they had started their relationship by being best friends, and after dating for a while, they had chosen to revert back to being best friends. The two of them also thanked their fans for their support from the very beginning. The fans, who had been following this relationship for a while, were devastated when this announcement was posted, but in the end, they understood that some things just don't work out. There was one thing that did bug the fans, which was the omission of a reason for their breakup. Uh, he's my boyfriend, but I've always loved him. As just, I just love him. Number 6. Probably Reason for Breakup While fans aren't entitled to a reason for their favorite celebrities breaking up, it can provide them with a bit of closure regarding the whole situation. Well, in the case of Camilla and Sean, there isn't any apparent reason as to why they broke up, but there are some theories that are flying around. One of the potential reasons could be the fact that the two of them hadn't been spending all that much time with one another after they had resumed working. If you didn't know, during the pandemic, the two of them stayed together and bonded a lot during that time. So going from that to barely seeing each other could have put a strain on their relationship. Nonetheless, what happened after their breakup was so interesting that fans forgot all about this, so let's talk about that. Have you been quarantining with uh, with Camila's uh, Camila. Yeah, I have been, and it's, you know, it's funny. Number 5. Sean's Breakup Song After the two of them had called things off with one another, much like the norm in the music industry, they each wrote songs about the other. Sean was the first in this regard, and while his whole song wasn't entirely dedicated to Camilla, there were some vague mentions of their relationship. The name of the song was It'll Be Okay, and that in and of itself is a big indicator that he was talking about his recent breakup. But if you need more proof, there was one lyric in the song that read, But we'll heal and the sun will rise. In another lyric, he said that if they couldn't stop the bleeding, they wouldn't have to fix it. This means that their relationship had been deteriorating for a while, and they didn't fix things. He also echoed some of the sentiments that were in the breakup announcement, which is further proof that the song was indeed about Camilla. Me sick, but we'll heal Number 4. Camilla Moving On After seeing that it was okay making songs about the relationship, Camilla started working on her own breakup song, and the one she made was a bit more direct than Sean's. One thing that she did differently than Sean was that she didn't make the song on her own. 
She instead got help of Ed Sheeran, who is a good friend of hers, and got him to collaborate on not only the song, but also in the music video. Her song Bam Bam was released in March 2022, but she began teasing the song long before that, and that's where most of the controversy surrounding it came from. She started posting clips of her song on TikTok and Instagram in February, and fans immediately came to the conclusion that she was singing about Sean. Spontaneous and random. The writing process is, I think, what made this song such an unforgettable experience for me. Number 3. Being Kids One of the main lyrics in the song that she shared before its official release was, We were kids at the start. I guess we're grown-ups now. Anyone that had been following the two of them for a while would have immediately picked up on that because, as we mentioned before, the two of them became friends when they were just teenagers. She also echoed this sentiment on Ellen, the exact same words, which was further proof she was talking about Sean. That a lot of people maybe are afraid to be all in because if you're all in then you kind of, it hurts, it, the blow hurts. Number 2. Hating the Ocean Referencing their past wasn't the only lyric that was dedicated to Sean and Camilla's song. She also said in the song that he hated the ocean, but was surfing now. This one was really easy to guess as well, because five days hadn't fully passed since their breakup announcement when Sean posted a picture of himself on Instagram, which showed him surfing. When he was in a relationship with Camilla, he said many times that he was scared of the ocean, so Camilla noticed that he had changed his personality after breaking up with her. Number 1. Selling Their House One of the last references that Camilla put in the song, which fans had been considering shade against Sean, was the lyric regarding her house. She said in the song, I said I'd love you for life, but I just sold our house. She wasn't just talking in hypotheticals either, because according to reports, she recently sold off her house in LA for a stunning $4.3 million. This means that what she's been writing in her songs has been taken directly from her own life, which makes the impact of the song all the more pronounced, and it also makes the song much more impactful for fans. In the end, whatever she said about Sean has not been directed as shade, and some fans have even been defending her online ever since her song came out. They've noted that the people who want to make it seem like Camilla has been shading Sean only want to start drama and are not interested in hearing what she's trying to say. So these were some of the details about Camilla speaking about Sean. While things have been good between the two, it doesn't look like they'll be getting back together anytime soon. This brings us to the conclusion of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you enjoyed our content, then do let us know by leaving a like. And until next time, take care and goodbye.